So this is what peace and quiet feels like. about the story of the knight and the fawn. Once upon a time, in the kingdom of Galthir, there lived a brave knight who was summoned by the mad king himself in his quest for arcane knowledge and power. The king sent the knight in search of the mythical fawn. The king sought to sacrifice the creature and obtain its magical power via dark blood sacrifice. Oh, hey there. Did the magic call out to you here as well? Upon meeting the fawn, the knight was taken aback by her beauty. The king, he seeks an audience. The king? What does he want with me? The knight knew what the king had in store for the fawn, and his heart began to wrestle with his loyalty. Are you going to hurt me? I'm here to bring you to the citadel safely. Okay. I think... I feel like I can trust you. I'll go to the Citadel with you. A warning or a gift unto you, stranger. Choose death and no sorrow. Choose life and no love. Who is that? I don't know. Some crazy witch. Let's let's keep going. <sighs> <laughs> I know, right? Oh, what did the fairy say afterwards? She just knocked the pixie dust <laughs> right out of him. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's too funny. <laughs> As their journey progressed, the knight and the fawn began to enjoy each other's company. You brought me to my spire, Rich. I thought we were going to the citadel to see the king. I can't do that anymore. The king seeks to harm you. What? But why? Stay here. If I'm not back by nightfall, head to Silvacella. When the knight returned without the fawn, the king was furious. The knight knew there was only one way to save her. ever 